Do you like to play as toddlers but get kinda bored because there's nothing to do? If that's the case, then these mods are for you! Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and today I'm gonna be showcasing a selection of mods that adds many new activities for your toddlers in The Sims 4. All of these mods are made by Panda Sama, who created some amazing mods before, like bunk beds for example. Well, before EA actually implemented official bunk beds into The Sims 4 on that one update, you can support them and their amazing mods by becoming a patron on their Patreon page. I'll link it down in the description below. Let's take a look at the first object, which is Rock a Stack. You know, those toys where you stack these rings from the largest to the smallest. Well, now it's here! Doing this activity increases your toddler's thinking skill. When using it, they will first let out all the rings from the stand. After that, they will slowly inspect and stack the remaining rings back while also playing around with them sometimes. The end result of the stack depends on their thinking skill as well. If the toddler's thinking skill is at level 2 or below, the rings will be stacked incorrectly. They will also gain this playful moodlet. But if their thinking skill is at level 3 or above, the rings will be stacked correctly in the end. They will also gain a happy moodlet instead. Here are all the different swatches for the rock stack. Next is the xylophone. If you've played Sims 2 and Sims 3 before, you might miss this instrument because they're present in those games. Like before, this activity increases toddler's thinking skill as well. At first, if the toddler has level 2 or below thinking skills, they will usually play random messy tunes on the xylophone. They will also obtain this playful moodlet after playing it. But as they improve their thinking skills up to level 3 or above, you might notice some recognizable and organized tunes being played more often. Now they will obtain this happy moodlet instead after playing the xylophone. Here are all the different swatches for the xylophone. After that is this drawing supply set. This lets your toddler create their own drawings which will increase their imagination skill. They will lay on the floor and draw on a piece of paper with crayons. There are many types of drawings your toddler can draw. After they finish drawing, the finished drawing can then be hung up on a wall. You can also name it if you want. Other sims, even toddlers, can also help other toddlers to draw. Doing this will produce unique drawings that's different from the ones they draw all by themselves. Once they finish drawing, they will get a playful moodlet. One bonus thing from this object is that if your toddler's hunger need is really low, they can eat crayons from the drawing set. Doing this will replenish their hunger need a little bit, but they will get a sad moodlet that prevents them to eat another crayon again. There's only one swatch for the drawing supply. One more new creative activity for your toddlers is Toddler Crafting Station. This activity allows your toddler to craft cute toys and crafts. They will use scissors, glues, and crayons to make them. The created objects can then be placed somewhere. At first, you can only craft one object, but as their imagination skill progresses, they can unlock different toys to craft. At level 1, they can craft a shredded paper ball that they can play around. At level 2, they can craft a decorative paper pumpkin. At level 3, they can craft a decorative plate turkey. At level 4, they can craft a decorative butterfly. And finally, at level 5, they can craft Forky, which is a reference to one of the characters in the movie Toy Story 4. Every time they finish crafting something, they will gain a playful moodlet. Here are the two different swatches for the crafting station. Before continuing, these four toddler objects I just explained haven't been released for the public yet. It will be released on July 15 to everyone for free. If you want to gain early access and play with them now, you can donate to the mod creator through their Patreon page. For the rest of the objects that I'll explain after this, you can download them right now for free. Now let's move on to the more active toddler activities. First is the trampoline. Toddlers can use the trampoline and jump on it for fun. It's fun to watch them jump around giddily. Doing this will also increase your toddler's movement skill. Besides toddlers, children can also use the trampoline as well to improve their motor skill. You can also spot them doing backflips or even front flips. There's also this other trampoline that's a bit bigger and more appropriate for outdoor use with the addition of nets around the edges. Here are all the different swatches for the smaller trampolines and here are all for the larger ones. Next is the rocking horse. Yep, your toddlers can finally ride on a rocking horse with the mod as well. This activity increases your toddler's imagination skill. 
you will also notice their imagination running wild like when they're playing with toys. Sims of all ages can use it. And yes, even adults, because why not? But toddlers, children, and adults with childish traits will gain a playful moodlet after riding it. Besides riding it, toddlers can also take a nap on the horse. This increases their energy need a little bit, but it's still a cute interaction nonetheless. You can also name the rocking horse if you want. Here are all the swatches for the rocking horse. After that is the swing chair. With this, your toddler can swing around on a smaller fraction of a swing. This activity increases their movement skill, but when they're swinging, you can also see the toddler's imagination as well. Besides being used for swinging, they can also simply sit on the swing and do other stuff on it. In fact, sims of all ages can also use the swing as a place to sit as well. Here are all the swatches for the swing chair. One more physical activity for your toddler is playing basketball with this toddler basketball hoop. Yep, toddlers will also get the chance to shoot some hoops in the mud. This activity increases your toddler's movement skill. They can try to score, but if they have level 2 movement skill or below, they will rarely succeed. They might even fall over or get hit in the head with the basketball too. They might have enough and drop the ball directly to the hoop. They can also dribble the ball sometimes. After playing, they will gain a happy moodlet, but if they have level 3 movement skill or more, they can actually score the ball and will be less likely to fall over while playing as well. They will also gain this playful moodlet instead after playing. Here are all the swatches for the basketball hoop. After all those activities, your toddler might want to wind down and take a rest for a bit. If so, they can do it in this new sleeping mat instead. If you want your toddlers to be tucked in comfortably on the floor instead of on a regular bed, this might interest you. Sleeping here will increase your energy need, obviously, and after the energy need is full, they will wake up automatically. They can also take a nap using the sleeping mat in which they will sleep for around 2 hours. After waking up, they will gain this happy moodlet. Here are all the swatches for the sleeping mat. But if your toddler prefers to sleep in a more elevated place, they might be interested in using these bunk beds made specifically for toddlers. First, if you want to flop the bunk beds down, you need to put the parts one by one, like the top bed, bottom bed, and the stairs themselves. After that, you can click on the bed your toddler wants to sleep at and both of them will be functional. The toddler who sleeps on the top will use these small stairs to reach there. Toddlers can also nap here if you want. You can even put down other objects below the bunk beds and they will still be functional. Besides toddlers, children can also sleep on these bunk beds as well, but only on the top bunk bed. Also, since the parts need to be put down separately, you can recolor each of them differently. Here are all the swatches for it. Plus, if you don't want wooden stairs, there's also this other stair that you can pick for the bunk beds instead. Here are all the swatches for that part. And finally, the last toddler activity that you can have is this toy kitchen station. Yes, finally toddlers can cook on their own. Well, kind of. This object is actually a collaboration between Panda Sama and Bravashin, who is also an amazing mod and custom content creator. I will link their Patreon page in the video's description as well. Anyway, when you click on the kitchen station, there are two interactions that'll appear. Play kitchen and pretend cook. If you choose Play Kitchen, they will wear a small chef hat and then start cooking with some random materials. It's actually really adorable to watch them cook. Doing this will improve their movement skill as well. Meanwhile, if you choose the pretend cook interaction, they will cook like before, but after a while, they will actually produce something in the end, which will be one of these four, uh, meals. They can create either a plastic hamburger, sticker rock, Mr. Corn, or glitter mud. Even though they are certainly inedible, toddlers can still play with them like regular toys. Besides toddlers, children can also use the kitchen station to increase both their motor and creativity skill. If you do the pretend cook interaction, they can create one of the three actual edible snacks, which are chicken nuggets, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and gummy bear pancakes. Here are all the swatches for the kitchen station. So those are a collection of mods that adds in new activities for toddlers. As always, the download link for each mods are already in the description of this video. Thank you so much guys for watching this The Sims 4 Mod Showcase. I hope you like the video and if you do, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more Sims videos like this. See you later!